All right, so next step is to download the OSM to PGSQL tool. So this is like a, a command line tool that's basically built for doing what we're trying to do. So I'm actually going to just search for this, close that tab, and click on the first result here and go to, um, where is it? Where's the downloads? In yeah, installation. So just click documentation, then installation, and installing on Windows. And you can click this, the download pre-built pre -built binaries. And then we want to grab the latest one. So right down here, we want to get the 64-bit latest, which is right here. So just click that. It's a pretty small file, so that will be finished in a sec. And you can see I, I have it here from earlier. Um, so we're just going to extract this. And I'm actually going to use the one that's already extracted. Let me just delete these two so it's not confusing. So this is the, let me, I'll just delete it just so it's clear. I'll re-download that 64-bit. And if I open this up, let's just unzip this. So if you have something like 7-zip, you can unzip it. You can also just unzip it with this extract all. All right. And now we can go in here. And this is what, what it comes with. It's basically a bunch of, uh, there's this executable. So some instructions online um, have you add certain things to the environment variables. Um, so basically, so you would be able to say like OSM to PGSQL, just like that. And it would know what that is, but I don't think that's necessary because we're only, or it's not necessary because we're only going to, I'm only going to use this one time. So I don't want to add it to my path. So I'm actually just going to use this tool explicitly like that. And you can see here that works. So we're just, instead of, uh, using a reference to it, we're just, um, giving an absolute path to that tool. Um, all right, so now we have to actually figure out how that works, but first let's go to our instructions. So yeah, before we get into that, actually, no, let's continue down this road with OSM 2PG SQL. Um, so there's a guide online that I was following that has some pretty good instructions um, to Postgres. I think it was this one, learn OSM. Yep, this is the page that is good. So this is the one that was talking about using environment variables, but we're not gonna do that. So we don't need that, don't need that. All right, so they're saying to get some raw OSM data. We'll do that in a second, but we need to get this style file. Um, so they're saying it can be downloaded here. So just click this button. And now we have this style file. It's right there, default style. That's going to be needed in when we actually run the tool. All right, so now we're good to go actually get some real data. So let's go just browse for OSM data in Google. And if you click on um, this OpenStreetMap, if you go to export and then click on GeoFabric downloads, these guys will, um, like every day or frequently they update these um, these uh, exports of OpenStreetMap. So it's not all of the data, it's just they chunk it, chunk it up so it's not so much. So let's click on North America. And I was doing the US um, West before, but just so we can use a different example, let's just use the US Northeast this time. So I'm just gonna click this and download the PBF file. So it says right here, suitable for all this stuff. And then you see here, OSM to PGSQL is listed. So just click on that and let this download. And this shouldn't take too long. I think it took me like maybe five minutes uh, last time when I, when I downloaded the West one. So let's just let that download. Okay, so the download just finished. If I go to my downloads page, here it is. So I'm just gonna show it in the folder. And here it is. All right, so what's the next step we have here? So download the tool and style file. We did that download OSM data. All right, next step is to import the data using the actual tool. So that's great. 
So the first thing I want to do is let's go back to this location where the uh, OSM to PG SQL tool actually was downloaded. So for me, it's in my downloads folder. It probably is in your downloads folder too. Uh, remember, we just unzipped it. So if you just go in here and we need to click on this and then shift right click and that's going to bring up this copy as path. So if you just do a right click, you're not going to find that copy as path. You need to actually click it once, then shift right click and copy as path. And let's bring this into notepad and we're going to construct the actual command that we're going to run. So just paste that like that and then type space. And let's go back to the instructions here. Um, get the style file, importing the data. All right, we're trying to find the command to run. So this is what we need to replicate basically. So I'm going to copy this into notepad just so we have it easily as a reference. Now we already have this first piece right here. And since we didn't put it on the path, we need to explicitly uh, call it. And that's why it's much longer here. But the next thing we need to do is just add dash C dash D and then dash D is for the database. So dash D is the name of your database. So mine is OSM. Uh, if you named yours, anything else differently right here, this is the name you want to use. Um, all right. And then dash capital U is the user. So the user is Postgres and then dash H for the host, it's local host dash S for the style file. So the style file is that file we downloaded. So we need to go back to our downloads and just again, shift right click on this file too, and then paste it just like that. Oh, there's an extra space in there just like that. Oh wait, no, I, I, I put it in the wrong spot. This is the temp, the example. Um, yeah, now we just paste it here, default style. And now this is actually the OSM data that we downloaded. So that's in our downloads folder, shift, right click, copy this path and make sure it ends in dot PBF just like that. So let me put it up here. All right. And let's give this a try. And I'm just going to give you a warning up front. This isn't going to work and I'll, I'll show you in a second why. So let me um, clear my screen with CLS and let's type this, paste this command in and hit enter. And you can see it says error connecting to database, no password supplied. Okay, that makes sense. But how do we supply the password? Because uh, this example doesn't show us how to supply the password, right? They kind of left that out here. I'm not sure why, maybe in an older version, it, it worked differently, but Basically, let's go look at the documentation for OSM to PGSQL. And if you go here to the documentation manual, somewhere in here, they have some other examples. And there's basically, there's another flag we need to put in that will prompt, make it prompt you for your password. So I'm just going to search for password right there. So we could either say dash W or dash dash lowercase password. Um, let's just put the dash W in here. So let's go back to notepad and right after the dash U Postgres, let's just add dash W. And if we go back here, it says force password prompt. So you'll see what that does in a second. So now that it looks good, let's just copy this. And let's minimize all this and make it look nice and clean because this in theory should actually work. So let me clear the screen, paste it in here. Okay. So you see, it's asking me what the password is. So just type in that password you made for Postgres. And with any luck, you should see something like this. And now you can see it's actually starting to process the data and add it into these various tables. So at the end of this, we're going to get those four tables that we, sh uh, that I was showing you in uh, QGIS earlier. Um, but this process can take a while. Um, this computer I'm on is a little bit slower than, uh, than some, some other computers. So this, I think when I did the, the United States West coast, it took like, like 
30 or 40 minutes to import this. Um, but this, I noticed this Northeast is slightly smaller. So I'm expecting this is probably going to take maybe 20 minutes on my computer. It could be faster on yours, might be a little slower. But as long as it's running like this, and um, you, you can also go in PG Admin. And if you go to your dashboard here, you should be able to see some activity going on here. So you can see, um, um, yeah, you can see that it actually doesn't look like it's doing. It's probably still just initializing uh, whatever it's about to, to start doing. Um, so yeah, just let this sit for uh, a little bit. And then uh, once this finishes, I'll, I'll come back and we'll, um, we'll check it out and make sure we can bring it into QGIS. But yeah, that, that's basically um, the process. Um, yeah, it wasn't too bad at all.